Shoot, you flea bag. Shoot. Anything important here, the Whites must have surely taken it. Order of society, the Magister say. Not much bloody Where order in this place. If I was one of those Whites, where'd I hide something? What is it now? He gives you a cool look. Then he purses his lips as he decides what to do. Then he reaches for his sword. Brothers, I have uncovered a spy, an assassin. Defend your Lord Commander. To arms!
Nothing. Just more Magister rubbish. Bah! If there was anything important here, the Whites must have surely taken it. If I was one of those Whites, where'd I hide something? Nothing. Just more Magister rubbish.
Nothing. Just a more magister. If there was anything important here, the Whites must have surely taken it. Order of society, the Magistus say. Not much. Bloody. With a glint in the dark of his eye, the spirit of Ken gives you a toothy grin. He begins to chuckle. Deep in the bones of his neck. It sounds like a rat trapped in a kettle. <laughs> you, what is life when you get down to the bare bones of it? Then you know I'll return. Wait, what? What? No, no, this, this was not the deal. This was not the deal. I will return. I will return. But Lord Kem was gone and he would never return. The spirit of a half-dressed magister stands before you, fumbling to draw his phantom blade from its sheath. The spirit manages to draw his sword and utter a challenge, though not one aimed at you. Nothing. Just more magister rubbish. He starts to swipe and jab his sword at an unseen opponent. The spirit turns in confusion, his sword at the ready. Too late.
Be grateful that you don't feel the need. Nothing. Just... But, if there was anything important here, the Whites must have surely taken it. Just more Magister rubbish.
I'm glad this one was let off the hook. I'd rather guard a body than bury a corpse any day. It's not like Kem to change his mind mid- Well, hello again. Welcome to my very, very humble abode. Yes, I heard it too. The man has some curious ideas about what constitutes treason. I refuse to raise a hand against fellow members of the Divine Order. Refuse to buy into Kem's lie that they're all black ring puppets. Tension? How quaint. That hatred has been simmering for years. The paladins see the Magisters as a threat to their order. Pig farmers leading lords, as they say. But now that some white magisters have been found colluding with the Black Ring, now that Kim has his excuse, it's war. Kim's always been a hard man. His steel was forged in the war with the Black Ring. But recently there's something else. He's turned cold. Not cruel, exactly, just harsh. Dispassionate to a fault. They say it's the Void Woken that he's too worried about Rivalon to worry about people. Maybe that's it. Or maybe years of fighting finally broke him. Your guess is as good as mine. Although, I've heard whispers. There are places in Kem's mansion that nobody goes but him. One has to wonder what he gets up to. It's not just the city. The Divine Order is coming undone at the seams. There's never been much love lost between the Paladins and the Magisters, but this... Brawling in the streets... It will be the end of us all. Too many Paladins from noble families, and too many Magisters that started as working folk. Of course, the Paladins were the first recruits of Lucian. So, many saw the Magisters rising through the ranks as a threat to their order. Pig farmers leading lords, they said. But now that some white magisters have been found colluding with the Black Ring, now that Kim has his excuse, it's war. I'll see you again, I hope. The company in here lacks a certain charm. Half paladin scam. I'm telling you nothing. My brother Delarus will hear about this, and then there'll be trouble. Delarus looks after his own. You met my brother? You met my brother? Really? All right, we have a deal. Oh, I see. Well, that's... that's good to hear. So, the Whites have a... vault... hidden below the barracks. I suspect the entrance is to be found in a storeroom in the basement. There was always a White hanging around. You'll find it easy enough. And that's all I know. Uh, thank you for the news of my brother. Now please, leave me to hells alone. She stands there, saddened. All defiance has left her. I trusted them. Those whites. I trusted them.
Ways off limits. Do you really think she's Stay back things? for your own good? Hmm. Found the undead freak here already chained up by the magisters. They say she's a witch. I say. Her voice freezes into a harsh whisper. I say she's a demon. Creatures like this Windigo. They mask themselves, spread their black magic to children with their songs and stories. Makes me sick. Our little ones, tools of demons. You know this, this trickster? Oh, well, go on then. Probably doesn't matter who breaks her, so long as she gets broken. Just keep your head on straight. She'll try to make nice. Creep into your thoughts. Keep her out of there, all right? What do you suppose the Magisters are doing with her? A creature that powerful? Grooming her, probably. Send her after the young to spread Dallas's lies. Through approaching. She cradles her head in her hands, then pivots towards the prisoner. Her mouth opens, yet nothing spills forth. No sermon, no screed, no threat. She turns back to you and grimaces. Too late! The spark's been snuffed. I trust you come bearing gold or godhood for me, to have interrupted such a sensitive interrogation. What led to this freak's imprisonment is a mystery as unsolved as the void itself. We found her already caged, cursing the magisters with hexes vulgar enough to turn even a dwarf's cheeks red. The evil is strong in her. Her words are soaked in it. They squirm into your mind, planting warm memories you've never had, mesmerizing you with candy-sweet sights and scents. Visions of Windigo's attack on the vessel sailing to Fort Joy fill your head. You look to the cell, and your memories contort and coil. Windigo cradles you in her arms, stroking your head as the waves crash around you. I'm sorry, Buttercup. I was bewitched by his promise. Forgive me. You shake your head and the vision is gone. Your eyes rest not on the prisoner, but on the paladin. No. We're at war. Kem may not say it, but he knows it. We all do. This Black Witch. What she knows about the Magisters, the Void, Dallas. Even if I had the means to slay her, her corpse is of no use to us. Her knowledge, her power, they could mean everything. You underestimate her. You'd have me stand idle as she raises arcs to the ground. In that moment, you hear music, a lullaby. You glance at the cage. Windigo stands silent. You squint and shiver until the melody no longer echoes in your ears. I... I understand. Perhaps you are as dangerous to her as she is to us. There can be no success without risk. I will give you the space you need, then. May Lucian be your guide. Things are under control, for now. You step up to the cell to look at the skeleton you know to be Windigo. The barrier mutes her source, but it isn't her source you fear, but something more. 
a shadow. She says nothing, but you still hear her words. An unexpected pleasure for both of us, I'm sure. She looks to the nearby device, and an urge engulfs you. An urge to power down the device to release Windigo from her cell. Her mouth remains closed, yet her voice settles in your mind like a damp fog. The God King rejoices as long as I am chained. Free me, and we might hobble him. The voice is gone. Windigo is still. You reach your hand towards the device, and your inner source is stifled, as if you'd never rid yourself of that cursed collar. After a bit of tinkering, the machine whines pitifully, and the shield surrounding the cell flickers off. Come to me, sweet cinnamon. She steps forward, slowly but confidently. She holds out her hands, bony palms up. They emit no fire, no ice, no curse. The God King no longer grants me his favor. Mask ripped from me and flesh flayed to bone because the God Woken still walks Rivalong. Now he's chosen another. I should hate you for what you've done to me. Hate you for the hell I've lived. But I hate him so, so much more. He loved me when I was useful. He cast me out when you failed to die. Go to the new Chosen. See that he suffers. See that the God King suffers. In your name and in mine. This creature, this monster, would have seen us drowned at sea. Kill her. If the God King has truly abandoned her, then this is our chance to slay her once and for all. Windigo has done nothing before to earn my trust. This changes nothing. And so it is. I will break the contract, God Woken. If not with your help, then in spite of it!
can I do for you? Let me help lighten your purse. Ye, Come, ye. trade. As you need. Very Roll up, roll up, no don't be shy. Sure. All those broken arrows. You've got your work cut out. Greeting. I trust that the item I gave you is having the desire. A beautiful piece, isn't it? Have you charged it yet? My colleagues and I worked on different parts of the path in isolation. Do you understand? None of us had the full sequence to enter the Divine's tomb. If I tell you what I know, you'll still need to learn more from Lord Ahu, and even then, you wouldn't have the full picture. The others are dead. Most wise. Good luck to you. Look at you. Beautiful. 
inside and out. Hunters, I've got the wares you need. Nature provides. How's the potion business going? Mixed. I pledge my life, Odyssey. Please. I pledge my soul, Odyssey. Please return. I pledge my heart, Odyssey. Please. Can we go in now? I want to see the paintings. I, I pledge my life, Odyssey. Please return. What? But we came all this way. I pledge my life. I have the feeling no one's in control anymore. Ensure the Lord's quarters are protected. Aye, aye, ma'am.
today. I doubt it. There's no one left, Miss Fields. I'm wasted at this present. Any fool can throw it on like a stew. This place has been ransacked.
my life. Oh, Lucy, please, please return. I pledge my soul. Please, I pledge my soul. I pledge my soul. Oh, Lucy, oh, Lucy. Please, return. please return. I pledge my life. Who did this? Right there. You better explain just what's going on here before I throw you in the cells. I don't like the look of you. You're coming with us until we get your story straight.
right there. You better explain just what's going on here before I throw... I don't like the look of you. Alarm! I'm wasted in this place. Any fool can throw together. I'm wasted in this place. Any fool can throw together a bloody stew. I'm wasted in this place. Any fool can throw together a bloody stew.
The scribe fills the parchment before him at a rapid pace, a self-satisfied smile playing on his lips. I've been tasked with writing about the deeds of Relic, first of the seven. I'll wager my work will find more readers than the other six combined. The scribe squints as she reads back over the page. No wonder the orcs vanished. Pledge my life, O oh Lucian. Please return. I pledge my life, O oh Lucian. Please return. I pledge my heart, O oh Lucian. Please return. I pledge my heart. Oh, Pilgrim. May Lucian return. The prayer seems to echo in the hollow space inside you. May Lucian return. May he return indeed. Maybe then we can stop praying and get back to our lives. Pledge my life, O oh, Lucian. Please return. Please return. I pledge my head. No, my heart. I pledge my heart, Lucian. I pledge my, heart, I pledge my brother's Come life. Come back. Please return. My life, Lucian. I pledge my life. Please return. I pledge my heart, Lucian. I pledge my heart, Lucian. Please return. Please return. I pledge my life, Lucian. Please return. Lucian and Damien. Ahu and Zandalor finding Lucian. Lucian slaying Damien. Heart. I pledge my I soil pledge my to heart, your life, Lucian. Lucian. Please I'm return. I pledge my life. Please return. Dear Lucian, I pledge my brother's life. Please return. I pledge my head. No, my heart. I pledge my heart, Lucian. Come my life. Dear Lucian. Lucian, I pledge my I life. Pledge Please, my return. Please return. Please return. Myself to you, O oh Lucian. Please return my life, Lucian. I pledge my life. Please return. I pledge my life. I pledge my life. I pledge my life. I pledge my life. I'm oh, Lucian, please return.
I pledge my heart to Lucia. Please return. I pledge my heart to Lucia. I pledge my soul to Lucia. Please return. I pledge my soul to Lucia. Please return. I pledge my heart to Lucia. Please return. I pledge my life. Oh, Lucian, please return. I pledge my life. I pledge my life. Oh, Lucian, please return. Please return. Greetings. Have you come to join us in the endless prayer? Lucian's day wouldn't be the same without the faithful gathering to petition for his return. The more voices that join our cry, the better. Ah, the Path of Blood is a uh, more advanced form of pilgrimage. I would not advise it unless you believe yourself to be free from sin. And trust me, the Path of Blood ends in death for those who attempt it. Consider yourself warned. The signs suggest that if we pray hard enough, Lucian will return to save us. Every year, we gather to offer our prayers in his name. We stand united, hoping that he will favor us once more. Oh, Richard, please return. I pledge my life. Please return. I pledge my heart. Oh, please return. Me first. I pledge my life. I pledge my heart. Oh, please return. I pledge my soul. I pledge my soul. Oh, please return. I pledge my heart. I pledge my soul. Please return. Please return. I pledge my life. I pledge my heart. I pledge my soul. I pledge my soul, O Lucian. Please return. I pledge my life, O Lucian. Please return. I pledge my soul. I pledge my life. Please return. I pledge my heart, O Lucian. Please return. I pledge my heart. I pledge my life. Please return. Please. I pledge my life, O Lucian. I pledge my life. I pledge my life. Please return. I pledge my life. I pledge my life. Oh, Lucian. I pledge my life. Please return. I pledge my life. I pledge my soul. Oh, Lucian. Please return. I pledge my soul. Please return. I pledge my life. Oh, Lucian. Looking at this, I'd say we're close to Lucian's body. There's a curious looking panel discreetly nestled upon the wall. Upon it is a lone button. 
There's a slot above the button. It looks like something should be placed in it. The amulet fits the slot perfectly. The mechanisms around it begin to glow with source. The source fades from the amulet, consumed by the inner mechanisms of the button. A long, empty moment ticks by. Something's not right. It's not working. Nothing happens. The amulet drops to the floor when you release the button. I pledge my heart. I pledge my soul. Please return. I pledge my heart.